Hey folks, welcome to another edition of Fishing Saskatchewan. Yeah, if you watch the show at all, you know that this is one of our favorite times of the year to fish. It's late fall, uh, we're out here trolling some shorelines for some big northern pike. Yeah, the temperature, you know, may be reaching four, five, six degrees Celsius. The water temps dropped in the last uh, two or three weeks, and it's a full moon phase. Yeah, so we've got a lot of things working uh, to our advantage. Another thing that we got working to our advantage is we've got a new lure to try out. It's called the Smart Zonker. This is a, a lure that uh, comes from Sweden. Um, of course, pike fishing is huge over in Europe. Um, this is brand new to uh, Canada. We've got a distributor right here in Saskatchewan who's given us an opportunity to try them out. Yeah, we've got a variety of colors. We've got a variety of actions. Uh, we've got some slow sink, full sink. I mean, the biggest thing going for it is the profile and, uh, and they rattle. So, I yeah. mean, they should work. It's a, it's a really nice bait, and I think that we're gonna have no problem getting a bunch of pike on these today. All right, let's do it. All right, let's get them in the water. You're watching Fishing Saskatchewan, brought to you in part by The Fishing Hole. Get hooked at The Fishing Hole. North Sask Farm Equipment, Highway 16 North Battleford. Come see us for all your recreational and agricultural needs. And Alumacraft, built by fishermen for fishermen. Oh yeah. Good one. Uh, tough to say at this point. He hit real good. He chased that, swiped at it, I bet you, three, four times. Well, it's a good time. We've been trolling what? I don't think we've even been out five minutes. I mean, the dock's right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, you can still see the dock. That's a good time. Yeah, I think this one's a little bit. Eh, it's not going to be real big. It's so tough to tell at first. Yeah. You get a fish to the boat and all of a sudden it takes off and you, yeah. just, you never know. No, he's coming in pretty good right now. I'm gonna guess mid 30s, somewhere in that neighborhood. We were sitting at about 10 feet of water. Yeah, 10, 12, yeah. A big sand flat. Yeah, just a That's little a guy. Fish. Yeah. Good start. 30 inches. Look at that, big silver and blue, full sink. Smart Zonker just inhaled it, hey? Yeah, well, like I said, he chased it. Uh, he hit it, I bet you, four times, so. And in there. Try to keep, oh, there we go. Nice little 30 inch pike. I mean, we want the bigger ones, but I mean, that's a good start. And like you said, real quick. Yeah, okay, let's get this guy back in. You can get one of those towels ready, Steve. This water is cold. Yeah. There we go, fish on. Oh, spit it. There's a the fish. Oh. We're in neutral now? Yeah. That just feels like it might have a little bit of weight to it. Considering I can't really move it off the bottom right now. Yeah, those zonkers, hey, they must sit a couple feet off the bottom. And they're just inhaling them. Man, there's nothing like that, hey? They hit good. Oh, geez, just, just wallop. Get you could turn the boat out the from yeah. shore just a little bit. It's hard, it's so hard to tell whether this fish has got size. Watch your leg, I'm gonna grab the net. We'll see if it makes any last ditch efforts to, to run. That's a good fish, Steve, that's real good. Beautiful. The way he wanted that, eh? Yeah, that's, a good that's a good one, that's mid 30s, that one for sure. Yeah, there you go. Oh! Good one. That's a big, fat. I mean, just look at the girth in that fish. Outstanding. That looks like uh, 93 centimeters. 93 centimeters. Beauty. So that's a that's a good fish, that one. We can still see the boat launch. We're that close to the resort. I could feel more energy coming back. There she goes. Beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. Nice one, Steve. 
We came out to the first possible stretch where we could troll. Yeah. And we found active fish. Yeah, we've got uh, two put in the boat already. Uh, a couple of missed strikes. And we haven't really even really been on for an hour. No, and we keep on uh, having to stop for the fish and not getting, we're not much more than a kilometer away from the dock right now. Uh, probably that. not even, yeah. No, and so it's... we're uh, using this fart zonker, yeah. full sink, so we can get down uh, close to that bottom while we're in 10, 12 feet of water? Uh, we're going to try and run along that, yeah, along that depth for most of the day, yeah. And we're trying different color patterns, but so far both color patterns have worked. Yeah. You're trying silver blue? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying uh, a perch pattern yeah. with, uh, with an orange tail. And man, you know, I don't know if we're going to have to get much further away from the place. To, well, uh, I mean, there's no point driving across the lake when the fish is that good right here, right? Eh? Uh, no kidding. There he is. Got him. Nice work, Smitty. <sighs> He swam up hard on that from behind. I bet you I had dead slack line for a second. Feel like it's got any size? No, I think it's another smaller guy. Just smoked that lure. Look, it's look, halfway in its mouth. Yeah. So you barely see the lure, look at that. Yeah. That is impressive fish. Yeah. There's no doubt they want those. Yeah. Today. Yeah. Again, not real big, but crazy aggressive. That's what, you know, it's the best part about this fall fishing. Is how Absolutely. That, how aggressive they are. It's dramatic Just and feeding and fishing this way, you feel those strikes. Yeah. We're going to get a jump. And literally, that was right on cue on the mark. Yeah. Traditionally, where we would start getting bites in the stretch. Little guy, but hitting hard. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> That's a little guy. Boy, that catch real small. Unbelievable. That how fish aggressive that size. they are. Look, look at how it hammers that lure. Yeah. They That's... want it. I'm going to try and flip this guy off with the pliers. So it's a good sign. Fish are where they tr traditionally have been. Uh, we just need bigger ones. Fish on? Yeah. Got him. It's a good sign. Good sign. that right out of the nets. So we're gonna get a big, big fish here right away. HT is the long-standing, time-proven leader in tip-up innovation. And the innovations continue with HT's revolutionary new Polar Thunder tip-up. The Polar Thunder features a compact, easy to transport and store frame, large capacity 500 foot spool, glow in the dark trip shaft, and most importantly, the adjustable flag wire system allows you to create increased trip tension when fishing big baits for big fish or decreased tension when fishing small ones for fussy light biters. Nothing beats ice fishing, nothing. Right on cue. Perfect. Uh, this honestly feels a little better. Okay. Whoa, look at that, hey? Just. Let me know if you want me to back up oh. for you. We're still bucking the waves a little bit. Yeah, I can't move this guy. Yeah, if you can keep going back and you can see I'm just right out this way. Yeah. All that for a average sized pike. I'd say he definitely put you into a tree down there. Yeah. Got him? Yeah. But they're inhaling those lures. I tell I'm you. really stroking them. I mean, they're, 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 they're working really good at triggering bite. Got that one right on the end, hey? Just nipping at the tail. Just. You want to just uh, flip him off? Yeah, the I might be able to do that. Him in the net. 
Yeah, let's do, oh, even better. Oh, that'll do. And there he goes. Right on. How easy is that? Oh. Got my eyes closed there for a second. It's a good thing I had my hand on the rod. Right out in front of the boat launch, eh? Yeah. Oh, whoa. Whoa, that's a good sign. Yeah. I think it's got that hook in it pretty light. Yeah, it looks that way. So I'm gonna back, yeah. I think she's ready to back up right now. Maybe not. Oh, keep her tight. Easy, Betsy. Yeah. Nice. Good job, Smitty. Just another example of what a fall pike that's feeding heavy will look like. Super thick, fat belly. Very aggressive. Whew. Fantastic. Got him. Oh. Feels like a good one. Yeah, not bad. Right on. No. There's nothing to say. Well, that's good news. There's fish here. Along the side. Bitten up pretty good. See if we can make one stay on there. Yeah, well, that's encouraging for this end. Oh, it's good. It's too bad I couldn't keep up with them. There, there's another hit. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. I would have expected uh, no less. From... Out here, we've had the little ones on. Uh, we've had, you know, different sizes, but that's a, a kind of difference. They all hit the same when you're trolling like this. But it's when you got them ready to come in and they kind of stop moving. And a little bit better indication of size. She's got energy anyway. Yeah. That's always exciting seeing that rod that size bend like that. There we come up. There we go. Another 36. Nice. A solid 36 too, hey? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good fish. Not bad. And then definitely the best one I've got today. Oh, she wants to down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess cool. she's back in. Good stuff. Let's Thanks, man. Just about indestructible body. The tails, like any other rubber tail, I mean, they'll come off, they'll get pulled, they'll get twisted, everything like that. When you buy your Sparts Anker, it comes with replacement tails and you can order more, you can order different colors, different styles, everything like that. So you can kind of customize the lure exactly how you want it. Look at that splash back there. You see that? Smitty. Yeah. That was a fish. Yeah, no kidding. There we go. Neutral. <sighs> nice try with the distraction, Steve. It just stroked that lure, too. Yeah. I mean, your rod was buckled. As soon as I Dude, got up, eh? Is that taking some line out? It was, yeah. Uh, I don't need to extend that. 35 inches, yep. Yeah. Another good one. Whoa, that was a little odd, hey? Yeah. Well, he's completely tied up in that line, eh? Yeah. Ah, pretty good fish. Yeah, not too bad. Probably uh, feeding heavy. Look yeah. at that stomach, it looks pretty good. Nice work, buddy.
We went right at the boat. Okay, he's coming in on this side. Yeah, I'm, uh, oh, 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 oh. Are you over me? Okay, good. Gonna go straight down again. So it's ready. Get him in there. Beauty. Let me switch back to it. It's working pretty good. Nice fish. Let me get this guy back. Okay, great. Okay. Oh, there we go. Double header. It's about time we got a double header going. Maybe it's the same fish. Well, you never know. <laughs> Dollar on the bigger one? Yeah. All right. Oh. Mine feels pretty big. <laughs> we got to do some creative netting here, bud. Yeah. It's in the middle. I'm uh, getting close here. Oh, oh no. Uh oh. Now we're gonna have to get creative. <laughs> and mine feels big. Like it's just sticking, it's got its head down. Mine's just wrapped. I think I can deal with mine on, on my own. Actually, it just spit, which is great news. And yours is bigger, so you get the loony. Lost this one too. When I missed him with that net, <laughs> he actually spit the hook and bit the net. Oh no. Oh no, he's still there. He just came towards me. Look at that. See, this is exactly what I was telling you about yesterday, Steve. Let me get this guy in so we can show him on camera. Get a close up of this if you can, Kyle. How the, the mud is just inside there. It's just caked in mud. A lot of times what these pike will do when they feel resistance, they'll nose down straight into the mud and just jam their face in there, right? To, to have something to pull back against. Uh, and this guy, you see how much mud we got in the side of the boat and that's exactly what he did as soon as you had him hooked. I mean, they're either looking for stumps or they're looking for mud. Anything, they're they're going to chase anything. Anything to pull back against, yeah. Yeah, so anything to pull back we're going to have so. to wash that guy off here. Yeah. I, can, I can get yeah. that guy back in. Unbelievable. There we go. Almost fairly tight in, hey? Yeah, I didn't have a whole lot out there. Come a little bit further, dude. That's a pretty good fish. It's not bad at all. And it's out. We finally got a, a good one. This one's over 40 inches, just over 40 inches. I'm gonna guess probably right around 20 pounds. Right around 20 pounds. And it was uh, one of the best hits we've had today. Uh, really, really smoked that lure, so. It's good to finally get one over 40, eh? Yeah, we, we came close and now we yeah. just poked over the edge. Yeah, very good. So we should get that guy back. Absolutely, let's get him back in the water. Okay. Oh, let's have a, oh, quick revival here. Yeah, there she goes. Off she goes, awesome, awesome, thank you. Woo, that is some cool. Cold water, dude. I'd fish here for the next 10 days if I could. Well, it looks like that's the end of our open water season. You can see behind us, the weather has finally caught up to us. 
Uh, we pushed it to the last day like we like to do, but uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, and you know what? We've had a great open water season, uh, a lot of great trips, uh, and it's sad that it's over, but that means it's ice fishing season. Yeah, and we're looking forward to a really good season on the ice this year. Uh, once again, we've got Tom Gruenwald from Tom Gruenwald Outdoors coming in from Wisconsin. Uh, he's here to film a couple of his shows, so we're looking forward to that. Yeah, and he's one of the world's foremost leading experts in ice fishing. Uh, works with HD Enterprise, hosts his own show, and we always learn a ton every time he comes here. Yeah, in addition to having Tom here, we've got a couple other great trips planned. It looks like it's going to be a really exciting ice fishing season. Yeah, so uh, until next time, folks. We'll uh, see you on the water. Fishing Saskatchewan, brought to you in part by The Fishing Hole. Get hooked at The Fishing Hole. North Sask Farm Equipment, Highway 16 North Battleford. Come see us for all your recreational and agricultural needs. And Alumacraft, built by fishermen for fishermen. Branches. Ah, ah. I don't know, man. That's a pretty good stick. It's our best stick this weekend for sure. Yeah. It's like there. willow. Willow, yeah. Catch your release. Yeah. yeah. Good stick, good stick. Yeah. Right on.